Good morning, everybody. Dwayne Lazard, Triple Nickel Trapper. It is the morning of November 16th. Deer hunting season started yesterday. I'm actually standing on Sawyer's bait pile. And I don't see a coyote print anywhere out there in the snow. And that is not very encouraging. Okay, well, we'll run this loop anyway and see if there's any tracks anywhere we'll maybe set on them. Move, move around here and there. But we're just going to do the loop, so away we go. Well, we're still at Sawyer's, second ram in. Hasn't happened in a while, but there it is again. That's got to be 10 or 11 of them already this season. Well, I might as well pick it up. It's no good here. There's no tracks out here even. There's a lot of snow in the bush, though. They don't want to go through that. And the deer aren't in the bush making tracks, but they sure will be when they're getting shot at. All right, I'll pick this all up. I'm parking on the road over there and uh, walking into this one at the only one on the east side of the Tom and Kim bush. I got stuck trying to get out because of the big tractor rut, so yesterday I had to shovel a bit, but... He's done. Damn it, number three. Oh well, we'll do our best skinning job on them and put them on a board. Come right out of there. I'm actually surprised it's not kicked out of here with all the moose that went through here. Oh well, I'm gonna set it back in there. There's no fresh tracks except deer and moose, so. And these little buggers, they move around like ghosts, so they have to or they get eaten. All right, get her made up. I am now in the west side of the Tom and Kim bush. I got a dozen here. The only trails in here are all deer. Huh, isn't that something? No rams disturbed here. I've got uh, four more down the bush line there to check yet, but nothing here. Like I say, all these tracks are all deer. Once they get them deep enough and cramped enough, then the dogs will start using them, but dogs don't like their junk rubbing in the snow like that, so they'll stay on the roads and stuff when it's this deep. I might get eight more inches tonight. Wouldn't that be a dream come true? Oh, well, the truck's just up there. I'm headed to it. Like I said, it's uh, three degrees out right now. The snow is tacky. And guys that should be hibernating aren't hibernating. Are you even there or what? Give me some kind of a sign. That was my between the rock set there. That one over there is fine. It's all deer prints through there. They're all through there. I checked them out already. I'm not messing around with a big bruiser like that. I don't know how he got his body through up to there. Holy. Those hanging ones are pretty unforgiving. Even a big chunker like that's off the ground, and I didn't have it hung like uh, I would for lifting dogs. Uh, well, it looks like a deer tried to duck that jump stick. I can't see any other tracks, just deer. Yeah, just deer. That's what you want to see every time when you get your deer, is that uh, safety hook. Quick release, whatever you want to call it, is straightened out. That means it got away nice and clean, so must have been a fairly good sized deer. Well, these are the only places I'm seeing any coyote tracks today. And it's awful hard to trap them on the road. 
Not seeing anything in the bushes for him. Lots of deer tracks. Man, they must have them running like crazy already. We'll check this uh, skunk trap out here. Hopefully we don't have another skunk. I really, really hope we don't. Oh, shite, the box is removed again. That might have been me. Everything's all set up. Well, it's five o'clock here. Still on Tuesday, the 16th. It's supposed to do this until tomorrow night. Maybe all night. Oh. All those rams are gonna be buried in the snow again. Oh well, we'll get a break here sooner or later. Morning guys. TNT here. We uh, just checked the Sawyer bush. There was a lot of deer running in there last night, kicking rams over and stuff. Uh, on our way out to the Tom and Kim bush here right away. I'm just taking a breather. It's pretty tough slugging through that deep snow in the bush. And all I got following my tracks is deer, so. But you know what? I went to the mail yesterday. There was a parcel in my box from uh, Bobby Shields from uh, Mineral Bluff, Georgia. It's a beautiful knife and a sharpener and a piece of leather. Uh, get a hold of me, Bobby. I really appreciate that. Beautiful knife. I can hardly wait to get it dirty tonight. Thank you very much. Oh, man. The snow is not helping me at all. I can't even see my next one down the trail. It's now gone. Uh, I'm going to have to get in there and have a look walking through that deep snow. I got some bait for the bait pile here, but man, if it's buried like this, it don't really pay. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. Well, there were a couple dogs in here last night. Looks like they shook a deer up out of a, a bed right there and went on a chase with them, but most of my rams are buried in here. I'm gonna have to move them. I think it's time to get on the skidoo. But they were here, no doubt about it. Oh, I just had a feeling that something, that nothing good was gonna happen today. So tired of walking through this deep ass snow, man. Another broken ram. I don't know what that is. It must be almost a dozen, if not. All right, I'm gonna pick it up. Cow bush here, by the way. Lots of deer tracks. They got them running. Well, we got another one here fired by the deer. That's why that wire on top, I, uh, I don't want to catch deer, so that wire across the top closes that off or, or fires it, so we're not getting deer in there. I would like some dogs, though. Well, this is ridiculous. I don't know if you can see that or not, but when I walked right up to it after it exploded, I'd have to think, or maybe it exploded and scared the shit out of it. I don't know. Ah, oh, I gotta pick it up. Well, we actually had dog in here last night, or night before, I'd say last night though. But he didn't go right up to that ram. Ducked around it. Oh well, we'll get him. He'll be back. I threw some more bait on here, so my little fox is on there. One more bait pile and then I can go take all the snow out of my boots. Well, I couldn't drive into the crown here, so I have to walk in. Holy doodle. I see they got those deer running like crazy here again. Another incidental, he got out though. Huh. That's no bloody good. I don't see any blood or anything. 
I got one more over here. And it's still standing there. Well, I hope we don't get any more snow for a while, but it looks like Tuesday. Well, I just finished flipping that first guy out there. It's the last board, so I'm gonna have to start knocking some off and getting some out of the deep breeze. But yeah, I got three red boxes here. Uh, it's it's not zero or anything like I wanted, but it's still pretty good considering how many are out there jumping through my snares. Then I got this row. And like I said, they'll be coming off of there and I'll be replacing them. We'll fill that fur room. Right well, there's been no shortage of this today. It's Monday the 21st. Trying to find rams. They're buried in three feet of snow. Some of them are more. Horrible day. I got down to the butcher this morning in uh, Wishart, Ron. And he gave me a load of elk, moose, and, and venison. So, out trying to put it around, but I don't know what to say about these rams. They're just getting buried, but we're not going to get snow for over a week, it looks like. So, maybe I'll be able to make some tracks. We got a pretty good load of bait from Ron's there. It's so big, I got to... Busted down to carry it in a lot of it. Not so much here. I can back right up to my pile here. So but yeah, that just kills me carrying into Sawyer's. That's my worst bush to carry into. So many deer kicking the shit out of my rams today. It just doesn't pay to be out here. I see somebody drove in here and turned around. They didn't look like they touched anything, but I guess we'll find out. Deer kicked that one over there. I fixed it already. Now I'll come down here and see what's happening out in this. Oh, lucky me. Hey, you look pretty relaxed. How about a, a KOD for Nick Pooler? Oh, he's a brick. Yeah, and like I said, when they get caught here, they're going to tear it apart, so. <coughs> Excuse me. Nice looking dog, though. Very nice. Okay, well, I'm going to make this back up. Well, I'm not going to make it up. I don't think I am anyway. Hmm. No, I don't think so. I'll pick it up. Once we get the sled, we'll go all the way around these bushes on the outside and start setting where they're coming in and through, so. All right, guys. Dog. As you can see, i am uh, been picking up a lot of gear that's just buried out there, so. I don't even know what I'm going to have left out here, but it sure won't be a hundred. And I don't think I'm done picking up gear yet today, so. Oh, playing me out this deep snow. Right up to my giggy in places, and that's no fun slugging through that shit. Oh well. We'll keep moving forward, we'll get her done. Hidden house. Oh, we're gonna need some bait here. Quick scan of the area, I don't see nothing. Well, now I do. Well, that's a pretty one. Not that I wanted to catch reds, but that is a beauty. Huh. Next shot probably didn't last very long at all. Very pretty one, though. Holy. Very red. 
All right, we'll uh, make this up. Check the other ones first, I guess. I don't have any snares around my neck, so did not expect this. Well, that's gonna need a little juicing. We're at the gray bait here. Ooh, what a trip. Again. Well, that's five for the year. He's still breathing, but he's unsavable now. I see he didn't trip. He tripped around, but it was wrapped around a tree. Well, I'm going to get on this right now. I don't like to leave him sitting there like that. So I'll be right back with you. Well, we're at our boxy bush. Still waiting on that first catch. That looks standing good. Standing good in there. I know you guys probably can't see what I'm looking at. But I can see it. That one's still there on the trail. Looks like rabbit's going right through it, eh? Right on. That's what I want them to do. Right there they went through. Looks like we hit a coyote back here. Oh yeah. Something funny going on there. What the heck? Oh. You got the ram all buggered up or what's going on here? Where's your head? No, you look dead. Let's give you a kick in the butt here. Nope, he's dead. Butt up in the air. All right. Let's go to get him moving again. I'm going to pull this ram. Because he buggered it all up. I'll get him tiptoeing through here. And I didn't stop here first thing this morning because I was uh, getting out for that bait. And I did not want to be late. So I hit this place last. So. That's a nice big dog. Oh, he wrapped around a stick, did he? That's why that's not open all the way. Enough to squeeze him off, though. Very good. We'll pick this up in the basement when I get home. Well, guys, that's it for today. It's been a tough week with all the snow and trudging through that buried ram three feet deep in the snow. I gotta tell you though, I'm sure glad we got that big bugger at Boxy's bush that was chasing all the other ones away. Some nice little dogs. This first one, uh, beautiful little dog that from Hidden House. Beautiful little fox. Look at the color of that compared to this straw dog. Beautiful little dog. Oh well, like I said, it's been tough getting around out there, guys, and i got deer hunters all over the bloody place out there. And my ruts, I had them right since, you know, end of September when I was baiting. These guys can't even stay in my ruts, so they just screw my road up. I know, I know, I'm bitching, bitching, bitching. But anyhow, guys, we're going to get on the sled and we're going to start making some better videos. Hopefully the snow stays away for a while. And thank you for your patience with me. It's, uh, I was sick there for a little bit. I don't ever let it get me down too bad, but. And, uh, then of course the weather. And it is too deep in the bush. I seen a couple dog tracks in there today, but I figured I'm not going to jump and throw six rams at it when there's only a couple of prints. So we'll let them get comfortable in there again, and then we'll drop the, the gate on them, so. You guys, till next time, keep moving forward.